Okay, so now that we've finished up our work on the studios along the right hand side, we're going to quickly in the next couple videos go back to the tools along the left hand side because there's a few tools that have been added since I created the videos about the tools. So we're going to go pick those up now. The first one is the point transform tool, which is actually the third tool down and it looks like a little crosshair with an angle, which can be a little bit of a confusing icon, but it'll make sense once you see what it does. When we tap on that and then we select a shape, you'll see that we see these different points show up, the anchor points of the shape. And the really key piece here is that in the middle, that circle with the crosshair through it, that is actually the point at which we transform. So if we transform this shape now, it will be around that point. But if we move that point by clicking on it and dragging it somewhere, say up to this left hand corner up here, we can then transform around that point. Now one thing to note is it didn't really snap onto that corner and that's because the snapping is not currently turned on. So there are two kind of snapping options down here. The first one is the alignment option, which will align nodes together. And the second one is the snapping geometry option. So we'll turn those on in that menu down at the bottom. And now when we move this, it will actually snap into place to these different points and to the sides of the shape. So let's put it right there on the corner and then we can transform around the corner. So that's really useful in being able to change where the shape transforms from when you're working with shapes, but you can also do this outside of the shape. So you can actually move it out and then transform around that spot. So this is really useful, say if you're trying to create a geometric pattern around something, you can do that. So say I wanted to do it around this rectangle over here here. I can bring it right down there and say I want to be on that corner and then I can transform in relationship to that point. I'll just drag that back to the middle for now. Now there's one other option down in the bottom which is the baseline mode and that only works with text. So let's go ahead and click on this text and because baseline mode is on you can see we can see the text baseline and we can transform it from the baseline. We can put this crosshair wherever we want to add that transform point. We can even move it of course outside the shape just like we could before. There's that baseline mode because you really want that rather than the bounding box a lot of times. But if we turn that off, you'll actually see every point in the object as well. And so we can go and we can snap it to those different points. So say we really want to transform from the corner of the P, well, we can do that. And that's pretty much all there is to the point transform tool. Next time we'll come back and we'll pick up the contour tool.